Hi, welcome back to Leslie Crafts. Today I'm going to show you a some couple more ideas of what you can do with the mermaid kit which you can get from me either through Facebook um, on my page or if you message me um, through YouTube. At the moment it's just UK and Europe only. Um, if I get a lot of interest from the US and they don't mind paying the postage then I might ship over there but at the moment it is only uh, UK and um, Europe. I'm going to be doing some ATCs. I know there's two camps definitely with ATCs uh, because it started off as artist trading cards where you physically draw on your ATCs and then you swap and then the crafters come along and we we sort of alternated it. I'm no drawer, I rather do what I do with ATCs and um, yeah, but I do know there's definitely two camps. But this is how I do my ATCs and I thought I would show you what, um, like the scraps of the kits really, so you can get the most out of your kits as possible. So the first one is this, now this little stamp here was going to be in the kit but I couldn't get hold of enough um, locally so um, the only way I could do it was to sign up for a um, a business account and to be honest with you I can't justify spending over 250 quid just for getting X amount of stamps so yeah so the stamp is like if you're in the UK, you can get the stamp from Hobbycraft. Um, but yeah, so but everything else is using the kit, and I'm just using some um, cream card. But obviously, you can use any card you want back. So that's this the first one, and then this is the second one. So I've used the stamp as the background, and then I've just used some little scraps of paper and I've torn them going down the middle and then I've used um, the little mermaids so the ones I'm using were the ones which weren't good enough to put in the kit either the arms have come off or it just hasn't cut very well so that is number two and then the third one I've used but still a bit wet is this one here and um, if you've seen my Facebook live and um, this is the tool just the scraps of tool I have left so yeah so you know it just shows you that you can still get something really nice out of you know using the scraps of um, card and everything else and then um, with a little spare um, word holders I've just wrote in these so yeah so that is the third one so we're gonna it's sort of it's gonna be like a sort of um, craft with me because I haven't really planned what we're doing or the only thing I do know is we're going to be doing another three ATCs so all ATCs are two and a half inches by three and a half and these are the same size if you're going to be doing the pocket letters and that is all the pocket letters are really is nine little ATCs there we go we will be using the cutter again I, would, I presume so and I'm just using my off cuts of um, papers from when I was uh, making the kit up and things like that so I'm trying to use what I have without printing off anything else but obviously you have um, you have stuff you know if you've been making cards or different types of cards you've got different variations so quite like that so you'll have to bear with me because I've got a new camera angle and I'm just hoping that it's okay 
for you. So I just place everything before I start majorly sticking down. And I made these little tiny envelopes as well, just with using some spare papers. These were going to be part of add-on kits, but I ran out of time really. So I'm gonna grab like a good word. Then I'm gonna grab one of these mermaids. I forgot what my ferber. It. I'm going to chop her in half, just like so. Oops, that easy. Then I'm going to attach the front of the mermaid to the front of my tag. My tag, my envelope. It's not a very nice day today. Yesterday was absolutely warm and sunny. And today is my day off, and it is miserable rainy. I'm hoping tomorrow will be a little bit better. So I'm just going to put some double-sided sticky tape on the back. I'm going to take this off here, and I'm going to try and line up rest of her oops that's looking too odd so she's like that and then she can go on there you see so she doesn't look out of proportion with envelope which is quite good and then I'm going to use some of this, I think I'll use some of this tool and I think out of the packaging I've still got, yeah, after some of the packaging I've still got these strips here so I'm going to, and I've noticed that these are turning quite well on here so I'm just going to cut one in half, no, one down the centre, and that will just fit into there quite nicely. So none of this is really stuck down yet. And I sort of do that on purpose just in case I don't like it. So, excuse my phone going off. Um, I don't know what Messenger has done, but I really hate the new sound because it just sounds just sounds really odd and I don't like it and if I don't have the sound on I don't know who's contacting me so it's a, like catch 22 really um, I'm just going to turn it so it's sort of facing me now just so I can work out what I want for word be like um, so I don't know if you uh, have seen my Facebook page recently but I've got the ephemera kits now just by themselves so if that's if you want to try the kit but you don't want the whole lot then you can just order the the ephemera kit and go from there really um, so. so I'm just trying to work out words really I'm gonna have sand seashells so it makes sense in my head So, you get two lots of words, which is, you get 33 words in one set, so you get two, two sets, so that is 66 words. So, 
you know you get quite a bit of stuff right so I know roughly what I'm going to do and I'm going to grab my pen it's just a normal biro and I'm just going to go around the ends the edges of ATC just like so just to give it a little bit of interest then I'm going to grab my double sided tape like so and I add it one one thing at, I put my tape on one thing at a time just to I don't know it's not really saving time but you know just bear with me I've got a really bad back at the moment and um yeah I don't know what I've done done to it I think I've just pulled it I've pulled it at work or I've um slept really funnily So now this little bit of card is not straight, but I don't mind. It still gives the same effect. As long as you put it as straight as you can, then that'll be fine. Then just put a strip of tape down the middle of this tool here. Now I got this tool on the range when we were doing it at Christmas and um, I just thought it went really nice with here and um, my Facebook live rewind should be up by now on YouTube so if you've seen that then you've seen my tags and things like that which I quite like So, I'm still working on the second kit. I'm literally, I've got to a point now where I literally need to wait for the stuff to come in. From when I've ordered it. So, and then I can start doing my add ons and things like that. So these don't take very long to do at all, these little ATCs. And I have I have no specific um swap that I'm doing or anything like that. I'm just literally showing you ideas of what you can do with the kit really with your bits and pieces which you've got left over after you've made your cards and things like that really oops too far down there we go sat one of the little ATCs finished Obviously, if you are going to swap it, you can write your name and your, your details on the back. That is another one all done. And again, all these, photos, all these will be up on my face group page um, just to show you um, the ideas in the group. In the group, on the page. So... Yeah, I want to use that, but, this, but I think I might use a smaller strip of that. So, just going to get cut this out. I'm going to do three quarters of an inch by two and a quarter. No. I wanted length ways, aren't I? By three. Hmm. 
do it want it like that I don't know I might just leave that one for a minute uh, what else can I use I'm going to use some washi tape you get a fair amount of washi tape in the kit so I might do another tearing technique actually so I might use those two there and this one so to save me getting my board out again I'm just going to cut this Just quite roughly because again I'm just going to tear it, tear it up and again if you tear it towards you then you will see the white core, if you tear it against you, you will, you won't. So it depends which look you, you want to go for really. I quite like seeing it there we go and I'm going to stick these down so I would love to know your thoughts about the kit um you know whether or not you you know you're thinking of buying it or you've got it or you know you just like like seeing it seeing what we do um because at the end of the day you know i love to see, love to hear what you're you're thinking I've got other other things which I'm in the process of doing as well. It looks a little bit better than the last time. There we go. So, and while that's down now, I'm going to just do my border. Doesn't matter how you do your border really. You know, if you've got pearl drops, do you use them? You know, I'm just using my little bit of a pen. So I'm just using what washi tape I've got left. It does say she dreams of the ocean, just in case you wonder if you do have this one. You wonder which, you wonder what what it says. There we go. So that's how it looks so far. I just love a little bit of gold effect on there. And then I think I think I'll use her. on the back is a idea I had and didn't quite work out so I need to rethink that idea so these are reprints because um, I used all mine for you know bag toppers and things like that so you can tuck a tail underneath one of the little things There we go. So I'm just going to get this is cosmic shimmer fluffy stuff. That's a technical word for it. And then I'm just going to add some random dots just on the plain bit of paper and inside her tail.
just to give it a bit of added I don't know, seams. There we go. So there's another one that will be done. So just put our one there and then we'll get back to our third one. So and see what we can do with this one. I think I'm going to grab now I made these flowers and I think they're on one of the toppers. Um because I just thought it was a little bit different to the kit. Um, I didn't include them as extras or anything like that. So I just thought, you know, just quite different way of doing it. And I quite like that effect. So I'm going to see if I can find just a little bit of a paper just to um, put behind it and that one seems to fit quite well so I'm going to do that one and again I'll just write over I'll just draw a little border just to break up the plainness really nothing else Um, yeah, mermaids, mermaids seem to be quite popular at the moment. So, do that. Then we're going to draw around here. So it is a bit wonky, but that's fine. So we're going to put the mermaid down first. And then we can build everything around her. Right, put that in the middle. Then let's take the shell. So these haven't got the silver border around it purely because I've run out of the of the silver shells. Yes, I can make more, but um, at the moment it's not quite on my list of doing so I'm just going to put that down there and then I'm just going to grab some glue so I can put the leaves on these work better with glue Oops. Gonna put that overlapping like that. Then I'm just gonna grab my little flower. Oops. Then I'm just gonna put that one. Just, just one of them. She seems a little bit lopsided, but it'll be fine, as they say. I'm going to put I see you so, I think that would be quite good just sticking out there now obviously with these ATC you know you can use them as card toppers or you can just you know, send them out as um, ATCs, um, you know, or you can use them as little thank you cards, you know, there's so many possibilities. And it's a great way of using your, you know, your last little bits and pieces of the kit as well. There you go. So that is the third one done. So I'm just going to show you them all again and again these will be up on Pinterest, my Facebook 
page um, all sorts Instagram when I get go around to putting them up so yeah so you know and you can get nine out of a piece of A4 paper as well so you can get you know and they haven't taken much supply really so that is all six of my ATCs and um, yeah well I hope you like it and um, hope you're the ones which I have got my kit I hope you're enjoying it and hope this just gives you a little bit more inspiration and in how to use your bits and pieces uh, because it's not just for cards as well okay bye now